I love when I change wardrobe. It's like I'm hosting the scientific Oscars here. This is, this is fun. Okay, so what are we doing? We're talking about acid base indicators. Okay, so okay. the concept's really simple. An acid base indicator changes color based on the presence of an acid or a base. pH upper. There you go. Above or seven? Well, it can go, go both ways. Okay. So go both ways. So magicians have used this I for love, years. I love chemistry. I know, chemistry. you got the jacket I, 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 no, no, Now I'm smart all of a sudden. I'm wearing the glasses. <laughs> okay, so magicians have used this for years to turn water into wine. So David, right. go ahead and pour this into the wine glass. Okay. Dump it all in. And oh, you get a nice little, what would that be, a rosé or something? I, I'm sure it is, sure. But it's probably a little bit early in the morning for, for wine, right? And yes. So what this was, was an indicator solution and a little bit of alkaline in the bottom of the glass. So you oh. put a few drops in to start with, changes color. The last glass has a little acid in it. And so if you dump the wine, quote unquote, into the last glass, dump it all right in, wow. it goes back to water. Okay, so the idea here, or the important takeaway, is that the indicator can go both ways. It can be colored or it can be clear, depending on the pH of the liquid. Right. So chemistry teachers have a lot of fun with that, and toy manufacturers with something called disappearing ink. Yes. Right. So I mixed up some last night, and that jacket is looking for a splash of color. Uh, okay, ink. okay. Oh, right. thank you very much. <laughs> so Thanks. You really do look better in blue. Don't get it on the tie. I got it from TJ Maxx. Okay, so <laughs> now what's cool about this is that's an acid-base indicator. Okay. okay? Now, disappearing ink would not be cool if I had to come like swab you down with something sure, to make it disappear. It's got to work on its own, okay? Now, the problem is it will work on its own, but it's going to take about five to ten minutes. And we don't have five to ten minutes. Carl, come on. Oh, you you got okay. three. That's okay. Okay. I prepared for that. Now, normally <laughs> what this stuff does is it reacts with the carbon dioxide in the air. Okay. okay? So it creates carbonic it. acid, and that carbonic acid will make it disappear. Now, like you said, we don't have time for... 10 minutes to wait. Oh, well, well, lucky me. Case, <laughs> I brought some carbon dioxide gas. I'm so glad. So all you need to do is just stand there for a second. <laughs> and we get a little buildup of dry ice on there, but if we pat this down a little bit, check that out. There you go. The ink is starting to disappear. It's starting to disappear. All because of the carbon dioxide in the CO2 fire extinguisher. <laughs> the ladies always knew I was on fire, Carl. We had to put it out eventually on this just show. Just trying to help you out there, Dave. <laughs> That's really cool, out. too. So now it will completely disappear after about 10 minutes. Right, but, but you just sped it up. Speed it, speed it up. Great. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. What's going on right now down in Imagine It? We have bodies revealed. Mm -hmm. uh, 6,000 square feet of bodies. Um, all sorts of uh, interesting stuff about different systems of the human body, from the skeletal system, the nervous system. They're actual humans that have been uh, uh, injected with a plastic of sorts, and uh, you can observe all the different organs. Really cool. Definitely should come check it out. And that opens today. That opens today. Great. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Carl. Christina, I'm going to toss back to you. I, I need to change back to something a little less cold. Carl, I think <laughs> I need to borrow that fire extinguisher. <laughs> Coming up in our next half hour, maybe.